Oh, this uh, greedy best for search is an enhancement in best for search that we have seen uh, in the uh, morning session. So greedy in this greedy best for search, instead of taking the heuristic function that is f of n of that particular function, will take some values, okay, heuristic values. And from this particular slide, in the heuristic uh, function slide, we, we, we have this evolution function and we have some heuristic values that can be calculated with either straight line distance, Manhattan distance, Euclidean distance, or triangle inequality theorem, right? That we have seen in the uh, morning session. So any of these things we can take to, to make a heuristic values. And in this particular greedy based, uh, uh, greedy uh, best for search, will use the heuristic value instead of heuristic evolution function. Now, what is this? It is taking the straight line distance. So let me highlight it. It could be better if I'll uh, uh, highlight it. So here it is straight, straight line distance. It is written here. It is using a straight line distance heuristic to find out the, uh, the uh, distance between two cities. Okay. So in the classic example of uh, uh, classic example where we have from one city to another city, how we can reach the goal. So Arad is the city is the origin city and we have which is our goal city. So how we can reach from Arad to the Bucharest, it is listed here in this part, particular part. So you can see that from Arad to reach to the Bucharest with the straight line distance, the value heuristic value is 366. In the Bucharest to reach the Bucharest, what is the heuristic value? Because it is in the Bucharest only. So heuristic value is zero from another city. Uh, to reach the goal city, which is a Bucharest, it is 160. Again, another city, it is uh, telling about 242. Another city is telling about 161. Another city is... So these are all values, which is called heuristic values. Okay. And this, this will be calculated by straight line distance. That's why it is denoted as H S L D S L D for straight line distance. Right. And this particular straight line distance will use for uh, finding out what are the node that we have to explore next. Okay. So it is uh, uh, somehow related to the previous one, the best for search, but there is a slight difference. In the greedy best for search, we will use straight line distance heuristic value for solving uh, the graph problem to reach the goal. The best for search, we use a uh, function which is called heuristic evolution function. And based on that, the whatever the value we are having, we'll use that particular value. But here in greedy based, a uh, greedy uh, first search, uh, first best for search, uh, we actually use uh, the heuristic value and that value could be calculated by any of the method. So here we use a straight line distance method. You can use a uh, uh, Manhattan uh, uh, distance method or Euclidean distance method. It is based on or the tri uh, triangle inequality uh, theorem to find it out the, uh, the suitable distance. Uh, so it is based on what, what the problem is. If your problem is related to flight and all, you have you can use the straight line distance. If you if you have the problem related to the roads and all, then if the road is mentioned there and and the road size and all those things are mentioned, then Manhattan distance will be more suitable for that. Okay, so uh, we have learned about like what is this heuristic value is. So in Arad, if I am in Arad. And if I want to uh, find out the heuristic value uh, of a straight line distance from the Arad to the goal node, which is a Bucharest, so how we can uh, reach, so the cost will be 366 for that. So this is uh, uh, the way how we can uh, reach. And these, 
values which is listed here are nothing but uh, these value which are listed there are nothing but uh, uh, the heuristic values okay so all these are the heuristic value it is not the actual value it is heuristic value heuristic value means estimated value means these can be the cost okay can be the cost it is just uh, the estimated cost you can see okay and based on this estimated cost cost will uh, actually explore the node so which one is the next node that will find out based on these value only let's see one example so that you can understand so i think uh, the example is uh, uh, visible to all of you here these are the cost between the nodes so you can just assume that these are the cities so we have a city a and we have to reach to the city g g is the goal node goal uh, node here and these all the nodes are nothing but the city you can assume and all these uh, values which are the in the edge are the actual cost to reach from one city to another city but here to explore in greedy best for search we do not use this cost instead we'll use these values and these values are nothing but straight line distance heuristic value which has been calculated uh, based on the straight line uh, uh, euclidean distances so it will be like from this point to this point what is the uh, length that that is calculated like this okay so from a to the goal node what is the cost is 40 estimated cost b to the b to g what is the estimated cost c to g what is the estimated cost d means from every node to the goal node what is the estimated cost is there okay now now what we have to do we have to uh, find out the path from the initial node to the goal node okay and now we'll use greedy best for search algorithm for that so let's see uh, how it is uh, happening okay let's see how it is happening Uh, so we'll start with A and uh, A as we know that we have two lists uh, either it is a visited list or frontier list visited list means explored list and frontier list okay so what I am doing is uh, whatever the visited are I am just making an uh, 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 arrow to that so let's say we are starting with A A is coming into the visited list now after exploring a we have the option to go to b c or d right so either i can go from uh, go to b or i can go to c or i can go to d now after reaching this particular state i have three node in the frontier list b c and d now if you'll see the value of b is 32 the value of c is 25 and the value of d is 35 so which one is the least cost at least estimation to reach the goal these are our heuristic value so what is the least heuristic value to reach the goal so here we'll find out for from c if we'll use the c we can reach the goal with 25 estimated cost right so instead of choosing these cost we'll use these cost estimated cost so now c will be explored further b and d will be there in the frontier list now c will be explored so now C is in the explored list. Now from C, where we can go, we can go to A, we can go to F, or we can go to E. Because A is already in the explored list, we are not going to put into the frontier list again. What node will put in the frontier list? So we'll put E and F into the frontier list. So could you tell me what are the nodes available in the frontier list? So we have B, D, E, and F are in the frontier list. So these are the candidate node which can be explored, right? So we have B, B is 32, we have uh, D is 35, we have E, the estimated cost is, cost is 19, and we have F, estimated cost is 17. So definitely the less is 17. So we'll explore F further. Now we'll put F into the, uh, uh, into the, uh, 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 the explored list and we'll explore it. So what are the nodes that will come into the frontier list? So F is exploring G and D. D is already in the frontier list, so we'll not put again. G, will put G into the frontier list. When we'll put G into the frontier list, 
and uh, so what are the uh, 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 nodes in the frontier right now so we have b e d and g okay b d e and g are in the frontier list so if we'll see b is 32 e is 19 uh, d is 35 and for g it is zero so which is the less estimated cost g now we'll explore g now we'll put g into the explored list and we'll test for the goal also and when we test for the goal we find out that g is the goal node right so if g is the goal node definitely we'll pick up um uh, that g we find out g as a goal node and we say that this one is your goal that we have reached now how we we can so we can make the path as i told you with the help of its a uh, parent node right so from g we can go to f from f we can go to c and from c we can go to a right this is how we can get the path 